what are the functions okay so what are the different function in stock requirement list or in mrp list okay so there are processing display receipt element header data so let us understand them okay so in md04 you can see this is called as a header data okay everybody understand header data means what what are the material what is the mrp area what is the plant what is the mrp type what is material type what is the unit of measure all these things we can see in a header after that if you click on this extend header details okay if you click on this plus button you can go further and see okay what is in my mrp controller okay so all your material master data will pop up over here like over your material master mrp controller purchasing organization so mrp1 details are there then lot sizing from mrp1 itself it is taking lot size what is hb lot size you are using it is showing over here the lot size okay maximum stock right then procurement and scheduling so mrp2 view okay procurement will whether it is in-house material or water material or water details like scheduling details are there so okay the so procurement and scheduling both details are there in our production time schedule margin key okay then stock kind of coverage okay so it will show you the stock what is the current stock okay and everything then it will give you statistics of production order plan order quantity how much is going to be have okay then it will have now production data okay and it will give the explosion data as some scrap percentage and everything okay so all these details are available in your material header data so you can minimize it or you can expand it and you can view the details you don't have to navigate to different uh keyboard like mn02 and search something uh separately you can navigate through here only okay so this is called your material header <laughs> okay then we are having header data we have discussed okay then there is the actions okay mrp elements okay and then here you are having mrp elements can you see this is the mrp element now your stock, we have safety stock, independent requirement, sales order, production order, independent requirement. Here only you will have your receipt elements also, okay? Or requirement element. Both will be updated here. Plan order, independent requirement, or your stock transfer order, or whatever it comes, all the details will be available in your MRP data. And that MRP data element, you can get the MRP element data. What is the description of it? What is the number of it? Okay. So all this data is available in your MRP element. These are the date when these uh, things are going to be executed. Okay, as per your scheduling. If any rescheduling happen, it will show the details. Okay, then there is a exception message. We'll talk about exception message particularly. Don't worry. And here is the requirement or receipt element calculation. We talk about this. Whether it is plus or minus, depend upon that. The calculation is going to happen on the availability quantity column. Okay. So these are the some of the important uh functionalities available in your mrp run, okay so we talk about this mr material header details okay and next okay now let us understand overview tree okay what is this overview tree so overview tree track talk about here show overview tree. everybody are with me okay Tim. if you click yes, on overview tree for this header material it will show these details okay and if you double click on that material laptop then we can see laptop battery okay now what it's doing it is opening your bomb okay let me go to slash and cs 13 okay content bomb one now i'm going to okay so here you can Oh, it is already open somewhere, right? Actually, it is not required for the minute. Oh, slash O M D zero four. Okay. Here, if you go to show over duty, if you double click. The list was created as 617. Yeah, on top, we have icon that. Right. 
Okay, you have to click on this order report and then you can go and check the material. So if you go to your bomb, you can see battery charger. Okay, now you can see battery charger. Okay, battery. Okay, so these are the elements that are coming over here, charging unit. So it is exploding whole bomb. Okay, let me go to CS3 slash N CS3. Yes, it is okay. Now you can see this is your bomb. Okay. So battery LP15, then charging unit inside that, then battery charger. Okay. So all the components we can see over here. So with the help of overbit tree, we can go and search what are the different elements coming onto that. And by clicking on this element, we can go to that direct particular material and check what is the MD04 screen for that. Okay. Everybody understand? So if I want to jump back to laptop, I can click it and I can come back to laptop be put in and check what is happening over here. Okay. Then I can go for that production order dependent requirement and I can check further this laptop B15. This is the dependent requirement which is coming from. So you understand earlier the peg requirement. Similarly, the peg requirement can be have the details with the overview tree. So if you click on this hide overview tree, it will get hide. If you click on show, it will show again. And in this way, we can have the over all the bomb components one by one details available. And we can go and check the further details of that particular material. For PCB, we can see like this. Are we clear, guys? What is the function of overview tree? Okay. So if yes. okay. We have yes. of, we can go for the other functional component also. Okay, so this is about your overview tree. Okay. <laughs>